Alola guys, this is Shauna Ralu. How's everybody doing today? So, <laughs> sorry guys. That was um, someone out my door and says, ah! <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, the last episode that we were actually, um, we beat Kahunahala after helping Lily and getting Nebby and also battle Howe. Wow. <laughs> And I was still afraid that I actually almost lost with Kahuna Hala. And then after that, we came to this uh, photo club. So today, um, when I said I was about to like go uh, get some items from the Rock Smash that I promised you guys that I would do it myself. Not this time. <laughs> oh look, his Poplio evolved. Jesus. Uh, you're not taking a photo? <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, that was cute. Hang on. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, man time? Yeah, we already know about Mantine. It's just so freaking cool how we actually uh, came across about Mantine. So now, uh, since that day, we are going to go to uh, surf on Mantine. Sure. So, in other words, um, we're going to go into Mantine, and this is going to be really, really cool. Um, I got to tell you guys something that... Mantine surfing is gonna be a little bit difficult for me because I'm still not used to it and I only did it one time So uh, I'm gonna be really quiet and try to focus on this because Mantine surfing is not really easy as you think Oh, I'm sure you guys are like thinking. Oh, yes, it is Shauna. You just never get a chance. Well, yes, I did and since I'm here, I'm going to get that Pokeball. Star piece. Something I can sell. Yay. Okay, that was just a boy. Oh, shit, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I got a battle this kid. And I passed the room, and I, I completely freaking forgot about him. Whoops. <laughs> huh. Drifloon. Okay, dokey. Wow, and I'm still on level 20. He's only on level 8. I should have battled him. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. I can't even stop coughing. And I'm sure you guys are like thinking, Hey, Shauna, have you been taking medicines? No, I am not going to taste those. I'm not going to take the nasty medicine shit. Oh. oh. What do you know? Now, in the anime, he was actually a, 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 a principal oak. And he's actually um, our Professor Oak's uh, cousin. I do. So, um, yeah, once when we get to, uh, 20 of the uh, totem stickers, that's when we have to meet up with him to uh, get totem Pokemon that we already battled. So, this is going to be fun, isn't it? So, I'm going to get off my Tauros. And we're going to run to this nice little team. And how is there, too. You know, when I first uh, played Ultra Moon, I was thinking that how and I were going to actually go on a race of the freaking um, Mantine Surf. Now, like I said, guys, I am going to be really quiet, so I'm going to save really quick. Okay.
Hát Oh man, this was really tough, you guys. I had to be like really quiet in order to fit them focus. This is completely bullshit. <laughs> but hey, look at my score. Um, not bad, I guess. But like I said, I had to like be quiet in order to focus because you saw how I actually hit these freaking tentacle. I fucking hate these tentacle. I do. I fucking hate them. I fucking hate them. I fucking hate them. <coughs> Yeah, because this is completely bullshit, because I don't know why they put those there. Oh, we're going to do something a little bit difficult for this girl. Ugh. Like, I don't fucking get it. Land ahoy! Yeah, it's not even land ahoy, you stupid. Oh, my goodness. But, um, yeah. That way I have to, like, shut the fuck up so I can actually focus. Because you have no idea how long it took me to actually get through uh, these freaking tentacle and these freaking damn rocks. Because it's not really easy. That way I don't actually use, um, that's why I don't want to use too much of the freaking tentacle. Now here's the thing. When you come across this one here, there's a sparkle right here. Can you kind of guys see it? So we're going to read because it has a bottle. And yes, we'll read it. Let's see. To the boy or girl who reads this, please take the letter and give it to the person who loves dancing with and Corsla who loves uh, on Akala Island. She should be singing uh, the song uh, she wrote together with Corsla. I bet she is. If you give this uh, letter to her, I promise uh, good things will happen to you. Thank you so much. So, in other words, we gotta find this girl. We'll talk to those people later, because... So, looky here. These Pukamuku cannot move aside. So we can't go through there yet. But we have to go through here. So, where is Kakui and Lily? There they are. Oh man, my heart is still racing after that freaking Mantine surf. Uh, I don't know. Should I be honest, guys? I'll just say no prob. I have to be honest. It's not good. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh! Look at that! Olivia and, of course, uh, Mallow. Now, I gotta remind you guys. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Olivia is actually a kahuna, which you already know. But in the anime, she is also a kahuna. But, um... Okay, here's the thing. When I first played Sun and Moon about Olivia being a kahuna on Kala Island... 
um, she was not that clumsy. She was not that, um, joking around and, um, all that. But in the anime, she is. Because the, uh, the problem is uh, uh, with Olivia that, um, she kind of, like, gets clumsy and all that. Which, I don't know how, to, how that happened, because when she tripped over her high heels after she went to the trainer school with Ash and the others, and, um, apparently she said, nothing to see, nothing to see. So, um, it's still kind of strange to me, because i never seen Kahuna Hala, Kahuna Hala, Kahuna Olivia, um, act like this, because... It's still kind of strange to me, because the way that she is, like, so clumsy in the anime, and then when I looked up on the game again, and I'm like, wait a minute! She is not clumsy, she is headstrong, she is strong, um, she is honest, and she's not really, she, uh, I don't know, but still, I don't know what's up with that. It, it, it does not make any sense. Let's go in here really quick, because I think, um, there might be... Oh, yes! Right here, guys. This is actually the, uh, name writer, which means, um, if you want to have a Pokemon to have a nickname, this is the guy that you're gonna have here. But like I said, I am not gonna nickname my Pokemon, so I'm actually good. If I want to nickname Pokemon, it has to be Shiny. I'm just gonna leave it that. What are you doing, Lily? Um, you looking for new clothes? Oh, Nabby. So we gotta go to that place too, guys, because, um, that's where we, that's where we gotta find someone who actually wrote the letter. Oh my god. Nebby, you're so adorable. Now, here's a question, you guys. I'm not sure if you're going to comment about uh, the things I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, in Sun and Ultra Sun, which one does that make, uh, does this make sense that in uh, Sun and Ultra Sun that has Sogaleo after uh, Nebby evolves? Would Sogaleo be a male version of it? And Moon and Ultra Moon, would it be a female of Lunala? Leave me in the uh, uh, comments below and see if that makes sense to you. Because to be honest with you, it looks like that, um, that Lunala looks like a girl and Nebby looks like a guy. I mean, not Nebby, sorry. Sogaleo, I meant to say. Oh, yes, I forgot to save this. Fuck. I forgot to save. Oh, God. Yes, it's Dexio and Cinna. The ones in, um, in X and Y and Collis region. These guys were actually Professor, um, Sycamore's, uh, uh, um, 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 subjects. I think that's what they're called. Sure. I think I can handle this. I think I can handle this. Now, just to let you know, guys. In the Ultra Moon, you will have bleh, you will have to battle against Cinna instead of Dexio. But in Ultra Sun, you have to battle Dexio. So I don't understand that, but doesn't really care. I don't really care. I don't really fucking care. Okay. Oh, my heavens. So that's one down. Alright, so now he's going to use Espeon. I'm going to use my Meowth. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering, Hey, Shauna, what is your third Pokemon going to be? You'll see. I already, got, I already got to figure it out. But I need to get to it in order to find it. So let's see here. Let's use Fake Out. Yikes. Ha <laughs> ha! And I'm a winner. And I was afraid. 
I was afraid I was gonna lose like what happened with freaking. Uh, you remember the last episode, the last time. Like I lost with um, um, Captain Alima. Scare the shit out of me. Yes, thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you! I'm gonna save that. <laughs> yes, bye. Hello, la. So, uh, before we end here, guys, I need to go up here and find the woman. And then, uh, once when we've done it on the video, then I am gonna go, um, find the totem stickers I wanted. So, remember on the letter about, like, talking about the girl who loves to sing and, uh, the course lives with her? This is the one. This is the one, guys. This is the one. And she's going to give you a heart scale. Now, a heart scale is actually really useful for some reason, but I will tell you that one later until we get to that part. So before uh, we end this video, we're going to we're gonna talk to Lily here. So that's about all she says. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to end this video right here. So, um, in the next episode, guys, we will actually continue on with our, um, with our thing. And, uh, make sure if you want to make a, um, make sure if you make a like and also subscribe. And feel free to comment about the question that I asked. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful night. And I hope you have a good night's sleep and have a nice dream. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye!